Hello and welcome to another Flywheel Films video. My name is Austin and today I took the first step in making my Lexus GX look less like something you'd see in the school drop-off line and more like something you'd see on the trails. I bought these. Now, as you can tell, I picked up a set of wheels and tires to replace the OEM wheels and tires that were uh, on the GX when I bought it. I don't think the uh, Lexus GX470 wheels have aged particularly well, and mine were in pretty rough shape. So this is definitely a needed upgrade. But I did something a little bit different. If you're at all familiar with Toyotas, you probably recognize these. These are off of a fifth gen Toyota 4Runner, the TRD off-road trim. I was able to snag a set of five of these off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, I chose five because I want to do a full size spare and a uh, five tire rotation. Now you might be thinking, Austin, the TRD off-road wheel is probably the most common OEM wheel that people put on GX470s and five tire rotations are actually recommended in most cases so you can run a full size spare. I'm totally right, that is not different at all. Um, what's different is the tire choice. Let's get into it. As far as the specs of the tires go, I decided to get Kenda Cleaver AT2s. Now these are 255, 75, 17, so I am running what they call pizza cutters. Uh, if you're not familiar with that term, it's something in the off-road world where somebody runs a tire with a pretty tall sidewall and a narrow contact patch. I really like them because they have uh, much better road manners and fuel economy with that narrower contact patch, but you still get a little bit more height uh, to your tire to allow for a little bit better capability off-road. I'm not super well versed in all the things that make that possible, but Tinker's Adventure has a really great video on why pizza cutters might be worth considering. The Kenda cleavers that I have, if you're a keen eye, you may notice they are only a 115T load rated tire. Uh, they're not the typical load rating that a lot of people get with these. However, it is more than enough for the rig that I have. I don't have a lot of added weight in it yet. And I thought while I'm kind of getting out on the trails and learning, this was a really great tire to let me do that. Now, as far as the nitty gritty details. So I got these installed at Walmart. Like I said, they were uh, able to install them. I did have to sign a waiver because they're not the OE spec size but you're probably wondering if I'm having fitment issues. I've driven a little bit and I have heard no rubbing. I've felt no rubbing. Um, I've read a lot of people run this tire size on stock ride height pretty easily. Or as the weight of the stock wheel and tire compared to the uh, new wheels and tires that I put on, I'll put some figures on the screen here for you. Weight was a huge driving factor in why I decided to not do the standard E-load rating that a lot of people go for, and the pizza cutter also lends itself to be a much lighter tire to still achieve that larger diameter. That makes for better road manners and better MPG. I just threw a lot of info at you and you're probably curious how these tires actually perform in the real world and real world circumstances. My driveway in Arkansas is no place to test that, so let's go check it out. And here we are in colorful Colorado. The Lexus is looking very clean, but that is because I washed it earlier today. It was filthy. My wife and I just got done with a multi-day overlanding camping trip, and we got to put the Kendas to the test. Now, before I get into that, let's talk about getting here. My wife and I road trip from Northwest Arkansas to the Denver area. That's about a 12 hour drive. As far as how these Kenda Cleaver AT2s compare to the highway tires, I had Michelin Defenders on there before, you can definitely tell they're all-terrain tires. That being said, because I went for a more pizza cutter style tire, I thought the road manners were still really great. It's still a little bit noisier, not quite as, I don't know, tight as of a steering feel, but fuel economy was pretty similar. I need to do some hard numbers and I'll throw those on the screen for uh, our trip there and our trip back. Um, but overall driving impressions for the road, I thought it was great, cannot complain. As far as how these things handled on the trails, I was really, really pleased. We encountered puddles and water crossing. We had some ruts, did really, really well. It was mainly just very dirty and very rocky. And these tires did really, really well. Definitely inspired a lot more confidence than my last trip where I still had my highway tires on. 
Now for my overall review, I was really, really pleased with these for both on the road performance on the highway and on the trails. If you're wanting to get an all-terrain tire but don't want to spend an arm and a leg, I've been really, really happy with these. And the load rating, I, I didn't run into any issues. They were more inflated than they should have been on the trails, and they were still great. Uh, definitely a little bit bumpier, but I think some upgraded suspension and uh, the ability to air down will help that in the future. But overall, super pleased. If you're considering it, I've had a really, really great uh, experience so far. Granted, I can't speak for every buddy that buys these, I guess. I like them, so. <laughs> so I'm actually making this video because I could not find a whole lot of information on this specific tire, the Kenda Cleaver AT2. What are you running on your rig? How have you liked it? Have you tried Kenda's and were you impressed? Were you let down? I'm super curious. I'd love the comments to be a section where people can do a little bit of uh, consumer research and figure out what would work well for their application. So drop your setup in the comments. Let me know what you think of my Forerunner with Kenda Cleaver option. And uh, let's, let's get some good info down there for the viewers. Until next one. Trail riding, that's for horses. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna for sure use some of these uh, these outtakes. Yeah. Oof. Eh. Eh. <laughs> mm. Let me roll that back.